everyone and welcome to Prints and Props. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint an Iron Man helmet with the best, uh, most accurate gold metal finish and uh, just overall polish to try to get to look exactly like the ones in the movies. Um, I've been saying that I'm going to do this tutorial for a long time and it's finally here. So you've been waiting for this, stay tuned. Some prints, but you also want props. Prints and props. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is materials. Um, I'm not going to super go into a ton of depth uh, about the materials because we'll kind of go uh, into more depth as we go along. But we're going to be using uh, mostly urethane paints, which are automotive paints. And just a little note about safety for that: uh, you really need a paint booth or work outside or some kind of very, very well ventilated area because those fumes are super, super toxic, and you really don't want to breathe, be breathing them in. Um, wear a respirator, um, and you do need an air compressor and um, a spray gun to work with. I like the spray guns from Harbor Freight because they're cheap, they're easy to use. We'll be using a little touch-up gun, um, and uh, you know we'll use a rattle can primer and things like that. Um, but yeah, so just really be safe with these this method, guys, because there is a lot of stuff that can mess you up real bad down the road. So. Please, please, please do this safely. Um, but yeah, lots of urethane paints, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so I will go ahead and get started on the process. Okay, so here are all of my Iron Man parts. You see I got the main helmet piece here, I've um, got the back plate here, and the face plate here. And uh, these have all been primed with um, a black primer. The primer that I used, okay, there we go. The primer that I used, um, is actually uh, a ureth uh, urethane acrylic primer that's an automotive finish but it's just a one stage so you don't have to mix any hardener or anything um, but that's been drying for a while so the stuff that I used takes uh, 45 minutes to be able to tape on and we will need to be doing some taping and that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you I'll probably go ahead and do a time lapse of that so it doesn't take as long but I'll just kind of talk you guys through the process so basically um, if you want something to look metallic um, you really need a black base coat and the reason for that is because um, metallic finishes show up best over a black base coat because they get that shine because most metallic finishes, the good ones anyway, are um, semi-transparent. So always start out with a gloss black base coat and for the things that are going to be getting um, metallic finishes we're going to do a clear coat over those. But first we need to get uh, our red, that iconic red. And for the red, we're going to be using this stuff here. Um, it is from a company called Limco. It is a 2K urethane paint that uh, you mix two to one with your uh, two parts uh, color to one part hardener. And then we'll also do some thinner in there uh, to reduce it down to make it spray better. But yeah, the color for this is Kenworth Rad Red. And how I got this color is I actually took an Iron Man Hot Toys that I had and um, had them color match it based on that. So this is a really good color. It has a little bit of metallic flake in it, so it gives it that nice punch. Anyway, that's the paint we're going to be using. But So first, before we do that paint, we need to tape off any of the areas that are going to be metallic, um, either gold or chrome. And the reason for that is uh, we're going to hit this with the red to get uh, most of the color. And then we're going to remove that tape and then that's still going to be black and we'll hit the whole thing with the clear coat all at once. Um, because again, you need a really nice high shine gloss black. So after we do the clear coat, <clears throat> then we will tape off the red and um, do the metallic finishes um, and then finish it all up. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and tape all this off, um, but I am going to time lapse that because it does take a little while. But basically just to show you guys again, you know, uh, <clears throat> these areas here are going to be metallic um, and then there's, uh, you know, the jaw here. Um, so we're going to tape that stuff off so that uh, we don't get any red paint on it so it stays black. So here we go. So we've got our pieces all uh, taped up now 
can see here um, that anything that's going to have a metallic finish, whether it be a chrome, a gunmetal, or a gold, is now taped off. Now you'll notice that I did not tape anything off on the faceplate, and the reason for that is that we're just going to do our metallics, um, and then we'll go in with a paintbrush and do anything that is not a metallic. Because the only thing that's not a metallic on the faceplate is uh, kind of the eyeliners, um, and those will be painted a flat black with just a, a brush and an acrylic. Um, so anyway, so yeah, we've got our our uh, headpiece all taped up and ready to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and move into the paint booth. And uh, so the view on the camera will change and the sound will change. So I apologize in advance if it's not very good. But uh, here we go.
Okay, so the first step in doing our metallics, uh, because Iron Man has kind of a brushed metal look to him, um, always kind of have, has a directional brushing. So, how we're going to accomplish that, um, I'm going to show you on this faceplate. And uh, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we have our gloss black here. We're going to take our scotch bright pad, the very same scotch bright pad that we used to knock down the primer to get a smoother finish. We're going to take that and we're going to brush this um, directionally. And the reason that that's going to work is because the metallizing paint is uh, semi-transparent. So it'll show the base coat through it. Um, so when we lightly brush this, it'll kind of make a brush look. And then when we put the metallic paint over it, it'll give a really nice brushed metal look. So here we go. Uh, literally just basically sprawling into the paint with the scotch bright pad kind of in the direction that uh, his helmet would be brushed. And you want to, you know, kind of have a rhyme and reason to it because it's supposed to end up looking like it's machined or something, um, you know, made by uh, Tony's machines in the shop and stuff. So, so you want to keep that in mind as you're brushing uh, the direction that kind of the machines would do their work. So you can kind of see here, hopefully the difference between the top and the bottom. You can see when it shines in the light, you can see kind of that brushed effect on the top there. So we're going to do that to all of the pieces uh, that are intended to be gold. And that's going to be the faceplate and the uh, little lip piece um, on the jaw. So I'm going to do that and uh, we'll see you here in a second. Okay, so now we've got our parts uh, all brushed and everything. Um, I went ahead and taped off these parts uh, to begin spraying the metalizer. Um, and the first metal paint that you always start with when doing, uh, you know, either a reflective chrome type surface or a brushed metal, or uh, in this case, a gold and a chrome surface, um, is this Spastix Ultimate Mirror Chrome. This stuff's awesome. Um, it's like $8 for two ounces of it in this bottle. So it's kind of expensive, but it's not as expensive as a lot of the other chrome paints. And it's very durable, sprays on really well, and looks awesome. So we're going to spray this on in our airbrush. Um, this is a master airbrush uh, that I got off of Amazon, not expensive. It's an Iwata, uh, Iwata um, clone. Um, works well. Uh, set it to about 15 to 20 PSI when spraying this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spray this faceplate uh, with the silver and uh, show you guys kind of what a brushed metal look can look like and then we'll move on to the rest of the steps to make it look like it's gold. So here we go. Always wear your respirator. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it Thank you. 
All right. So there we go. We can see that that uh, has a very nice brushed metal look to it. Um, and you can actually uh, take that further with a scotch Bright pad. I'll show you uh, just a little test. The thing about this uh, paint is that it does leave kind of a dust on the surface. So what you can do, especially with brushed metal, because uh, you're not too worried about uh, getting that ultra reflective finish, you're looking for a brushed finish, just take a paper towel and just kind of very lightly buff off the dust. Doesn't take a lot of pressure or anything, you're just lightly buffing the dust. And you can see a little bit of it came off on the paper towel, that's good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you end up with, uh, with a brushed metal finish. And that would be great for like a Mark II uh, look. But again, you can take your scotch Bright pad and just very lightly continue to brush that. And because there are actually metal particles in this paint, it really gives a nice uh, kind of when it hits the light, it kind of gives a really nice uh, realistic brushed metal look. Kind of like an aircraft, you know. So see, there you go. That's just with a very light, light brushing on the surface that you get a really nice. Uh, very, very nice reflective brushed metal surface. So I'm going to show you guys the, I'm going to finish the rest of these pieces and then show you guys the steps to uh, continue getting this to look gold. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now that we've got our parts uh, chromed, uh, ready for the next step, I'm going to show you guys that. The next step is going to be to seal this chrome up. Um, reason being, it is a lacquer. And at, in that, it's not a very strong lacquer, so it doesn't handle a lot of abuse. And specifically what it doesn't handle is a urethane clear coat on top of it, which is going to be uh, integral in getting the gold finish that we're looking for. Um, so we need to seal it with something. And the best thing to seal it with is a water-based clear coat. Reason being, a water-based clear coat will not uh, reactivate the lacquer uh, when it gets sprayed onto it because it doesn't have any solvents other than water in it. Uh, so it's non-reactive to finishes that it goes over and it is non-reactive to finishes that go over it. So we're going to use this uh, all clad aqua gloss um, as a sealer layer between um, the metallic finish that we just did and the gold finish that's going to be a urethane clear on top of that. So here we go. So to spray this, uh, I'm going to use my Harbor Freight Touch Up HVLP gun. Um, this guy right here. And it's very, very, very important that when you spray this stuff, immediately after you spray it, that you clean out your gun with water. The reason is because, as I talked about just a second ago, nothing affects this stuff once it's cured. And it doesn't affect anything else. So once it's cured, if it's stuck in your gun, nothing's going to take it except nothing's going to get it out of there except for mechanical force. So you can't clean it out with any solvents or anything like that. So know that it says it all over the label. Know that when using this stuff, it looks milky white when it comes out, uh, but it dries clear and it dries really fast too. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fill up our gun here. We don't need very much. Put the lid back on. Respirator, as always. And for this stuff, you really don't want it to go on very heavy because it's very, very thin. So it will run really easily. So you want to turn down the fluid adjustment on your gun quite a bit to make it a much finer spray and not go on so heavy. So here we go.
even that was a little too heavy. getting a little bit of running on this part, but it's all running to the very edges. So I think as long as I just set it down nicely, like this, it should be okay. That's it. my excess back into the bottle.
All right, so the final step to uh, painting this faceplate here is uh, to do the little uh, darker pieces, darker metallic pieces um, on the sides here. Um, and that's the last spring that we're going to have to do, and then we'll go through and uh, do our, um, our, our low spots with um, like a wash, like a black wash. And uh, then I'll show you how I assemble it and do the lights and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, what the paint we're going to be using is this paint that I mixed up myself. Uh, it's a gunmetal paint. Um, what it is is graphite powder mixed with clear lacquer, mixed with a little bit of spastix chrome to give it a more metallic shine, um, and a bunch of lacquer thinner to thin it out. So it has a really nice color to it. Um, I am very fond of it. I had a really tough time finding um, a gunmetal paint that I really liked. Uh, but this stuff seems to work really, really well. So you spray it pretty much just like you would all clad, 15 PSI. And you just do a nice, even application. You kind of come up with something like that. It's hard to see, but versus the other side. That's very, very shiny. So it does a really nice gunmetal look. So we're just going to do both sides. And there we are. All right, so there we go. The helmet is all finished. Um, I think it came out pretty cool. There are a few little imperfections that I'll probably try and fix next time I do one of these. Um, I am going to light the eyes and install a uh, motorized servo operated faceplate, um, but that'll be in a different video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this helped you um, figure out how to do some cool gold type finishes on your Iron Man helmet. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to do this stuff, um, and there wasn't a lot of information out there, so. I kind of aimed to make this as easy and accessible as possible. So, yeah. So, follow along as we keep working on this helmet, make it even cooler. And uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, either way, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>